tonight we are going to talk about my favorite subject. No, not baseball. Food. Yummy is right. So there's a famous Italian chef, Italian-American, I believe, Giada De Laurentiis, right? You like her food? Pretty awesome. You see it around the Food Network. And she said that food brings people together on many different levels. It's nourishment for the soul and for the body. It's truly love. And I don't know about you, but when there is a really good meal in front of me, I am feeling all the love. What about you? But you know, there's something even more special about eating together. Now, I'm one of those strange people who likes to eat alone sometimes, but it is much better when we're together, right? Because after all, our theme this year is the Better Together Project. And so too with food. So think of your family gatherings. Doesn't matter what family gathering you're having, but who can tell me what is one of those epic meals that are just better together that maybe somebody in your family made or has been passed down from generation to generation. Who can tell me? Something real good. Yes. Lemon meringue pie. Delish. I love it. Yes. Salsa. Okay. Salsa brings people together. That's true. Anybody else have any special foods? Yeah, cookie. Matzo ball soup. You're going to be hearing about some matzo ball soup in a second. Chloe. Chala. Wait, chala or chala? Chala, that's right. Yes. Tomahawk steak. Boy, I wonder, Hayden, where you get that from. <laughs> that's great. Yes. Blintzes. Now, are you on team sour cream or team fruit? Sour cream. Right. What else? <laughs> the, the best. That's amazing. I, I never thought in my life I would hear jello as the greatest thing in the world. It sounds epic. It sounds, it sounds amazing. I'm coming to your house for Thanksgiving this year, all right? Sounds good. And it makes it more special because it's on Thanksgiving and because you're better together, right? Exactly. So wait, I, want, I want to hear from everybody, but we got to move on to our story. And I really want to tell you about this really nice story because once upon a time in this charming little village, small Jewish village of Northwood, okay, and lived a little girl named Rachel and her very wise, wonderful grandmother, her bubby, Esther. Now, Rachel loved spending time with her bubby, listening to her stories and learning about her Jewish heritage. So one day, as the aroma of fresh challah and savory matzo ball soup filled the air, Rachel sat down in the kitchen table with her bubby and said, Bubby, why does everyone in Northwood gather for meals like this? Well, Bubby Esther smiled and began her story. A long, long time ago, in a land far away, there was a magical matzo ball. And this matzo ball was no ordinary matzo ball. It had the power to bring people together. Well, so she continued, in our Jewish tradition, Food has always been a symbol of love and unity. It's our way to share stories and memories and strengthen our bonds. And the magical matzo ball reminds us of a very important lesson. And Rachel's eyes brightened, widened with curiosity and said, tell me more, Bubby. So she chuckled and continued, well, legend has it that whenever somebody in the village was feeling sad, or feeling lonely or upset, they would make a wish and add a piece of their own special ingredient to the matzo ball. It could be a sprinkle of laughter, a dash of kindness, or a pinch of understanding. As the soup simmered, the magic of the matzo ball would combine all of these wonderful emotions. One day, 
a dispute arose between two families of Northwood. Imagine that. They couldn't agree on how to celebrate a holiday together, and the disagreement was tearing them apart. The village was really sad to see this type of division, and that was when a young girl named Miriam, full of hope in her heart, decided to use the magical matzo ball. So Miriam gathered all the ingredients and added her own wish of unity into the pot. And as the matzo ball soup simmered, the sweet aroma filled the air. The families couldn't resist invite its inviting scent, and it was drawn, they were all drawn over to Miriam's home. So when they went and tasted the soup, something magical happened. What do you think happened? They were all together. And the flavors of understanding and empathy and compassion infused inside of the matzo ball came out. And the families ate the soup and loved it together. And when that happened, their differences, they melted away. Laughter filled the room and they realized that they actually had a lot more in common than they thought. So from that day on, the village of Northwood embraced this tradition of the magical matzo ball. So whenever conflicts arose, the villagers would gather together, they put in their own ingredients and share a meal. And it was the way that the whole community was better together. So on this Shabbat, think about all of those wonderful things that you're able to add to your meal. There are wonderful flavors you can add to each dish, sure. But what are you gonna add into that soup? What's your special ingredient? Anybody want to share? What ingredient? You want to bring in love. What do you want to toss in? Passion. Yes. Happiness. Empathy. I love it. This is so wonderful. Kindness. This is the most delicious soup ever. Now I understand why it's a magical matzo ball. So it's clear, my friends. It really does sound like one. Yes. Kindness of all time. Yes, not just regular kindness, but of all time. It, it really does sound like one amazing meal. Think about why Thanksgiving is so good. Right? Friends, family, football, fun, and of course, food. Well, jello's not a word that starts with F, so we're just going to stick with food. So it's clear, my friends, food really is something that helps us be better when we're together. Let's each continue to add in that wonderful, delicious ingredient to make our magical matzo ball that much more delicious. Shabbat shalom. Amen.